Plays and I am back again with some more Dragon Ball Sparking Zero tutorial videos on how to get all seven Dragon Balls for each of the dragons for Shenron, Purunga, and Super Shenron. So let's go and jump into it. Now we're getting into the Shenron summons, okay? Uh, right off the bat, if you either got, I believe, the Deluxe or the Ultimate Edition, you would be able to get a full set of normal Shenron Dragon Balls or Super Shenron, okay, Dragon Balls, okay? You should have got both. I currently have purchased the Ultimate Edition, so I did get both. So that's right off the start, right when you start the game, if you have those editions, boom. That's like one of the easiest ways of accumulating these Dragon Balls as fast as possible because they are a little bit more difficult to get, okay? Let's go over Shenron first, all right, in terms of how to uh, get those Dragon Balls pretty quickly, okay? You have a couple of different methods. Like I said, you have the you know Ultimate Edition type of thing, or what you can do is if you scroll over to the challenges and missions and go to Whis's stamp book, you can actually get a full set of Dragon Balls pretty easily uh, just right off the bat from, you know, doing certain, uh, you know, like conditions that have to be met in this. Okay, as you can see on Whis's, uh wishes on his staff and everything, uh, I did actually claim one of the Dragon Balls. So one of these the little Shenron icon, that means that you'll get a Dragon Ball for the Shenron summon. So play offline battle three times. Really easy. Just go to battle mode and do that, okay? Again, playing this game a lot is going to benefit you. Just keep playing all the different modes, play a bunch of battles, do a bunch of story. You'll eventually accumulate a lot of this stuff without even really knowing it, right? This one right here, achieve Goku, uh, or sorry, achieve victory in Goku Saga ten times, okay? Uh, complete a battle training session. Uh, five times perform an ultimate blast 10 times edit a player card that one's like two seconds you can just go in there change the character render and boom okay create a uh, battle and custom battle one time clear a bonus battle one time all these are pretty easy and pretty quick okay the only ones that might take a little bit are you know getting the ultimate blast or the training session but again you'll probably do a lot of ultimate blast if you're playing battle mode or um you know story mode okay so do all that and you'll get at least one full set of dragon balls pretty quickly on that okay now, I saw not necessarily misinformation. I think people were just a little bit confused because they thought this. Um, people thought that you could get the Dragon Balls from Zeno's Orders or even like Super Dragon Balls from this. Now, I went in there and I checked for myself and that is actually not the case, okay? Uh, as you can see right here, you're going to scroll down uh, to a certain point and there's going to be a lot of Dragon Balls that you can actually... Uh, I mean, it shows that you can unlock them because it shows a little Dragon Ball symbol. That's actually not what that is, okay? I did actually... Uh, get one of these and it says right there obtain dragon balls okay that's the actual condition in order to get this which is actually a title or it's like a stamp or like an icon or something like that okay it's it's not an actual dragon ball you can't get the dragon balls from this okay i know it's a little bit misleading that it's showing a like a picture of a dragon ball and even says obtain the dragon ball but if you get a dragon ball from either doing like you know the battle mode and stuff which we'll get into or if you do it through Whis's staff type of thing okay get one dragon ball you'll get this title so that's not what it is okay so don't don't worry about zeno's orders his is kind of you know garbage in terms of that that's not where you want to focus on you want to focus on Whis's stamp book that's where you can actually get at least one full set of dragon balls now you can farm Dragon Balls, okay? If you want to be able to get them, you know, just over and over and over, you got to go to battle mode, okay? Now, battle mode is pretty dope because if you do it offline, it's pretty quick, okay? Now, I don't know about uh, online. I haven't tested it online. I don't think it's online. By the way, even if it is, it's not even that good. You want to do it like this, okay? I'm going to show you. Go to player one, okay? Just player versus CPU. And I'm going to show you the exact settings you need to have for this to do it as fast as possible, okay? So you don't, I don't think, need to, you know, worry about, you know, time limit or any of this stuff. So you want to set the CPU level to weak, okay? Because the weaker they are, the easier they're, you know, to defeat, okay? And you also want to set the out-of-bounds rules on the World Tournament. Now, this can kind of help or hurt you depending on how, you know good you are at the game in, the, in a sense uh, don't be stupid and don't like go crazy and try to speed run it like too crazy because if you do that you'll end up just like you know going out of the stage and if you get a ring out you'll you know obviously <laughs> lose the match and you want to win the match okay so set it to on uh as long as you, you know you're not you're not crazy right and then you want to select the world tournament stage and then you want to select the character that is pretty high in attack uh, as you can see right here i have broly by default now what you can do is you can actually go to sort or filter 
and you can get the attack to descending. So put that on descending, okay? This will show the characters with the highest amount of attack all the way down to the weakest, uh, you know, lowest amount of attack. Shout out to my boy, Mr. Satan. He's weak as hell, bro. <laughs> but he's stronger than you. I will say that. So uh, right off the bat, in terms of your character selection, if you're, you know, you haven't done anything yet and you're just trying to get Dragon Balls as fast as possible without unlocking any characters yet, uh, use Z Broly. He's actually the strongest. Uh, as far as I know, in terms of the characters that you can have right now, um, you can, if you do have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, you would obviously want to go for him. He is actually the strongest normal character that's not a giant, which is actually kind of crazy in terms of power. Okay. He's got like the most attack power. Okay. Uh, if you want to, you can use a giant character. I would advise against doing that just because the giant characters are really slow. And again, we're trying to do this as fast as possible. And I know Broly's kind of slow, but he's better than a, a giant character. Okay. Then what you want to do is change the team and you want to select a character that is really weak. And you can do that by going to HP and go to descending. Okay. The characters with the lowest amount of HP, you'll be able to kill them as you know fast as possible, a lot faster. Now, the weakest character is a Frieza soldier, okay? Or you know you can do Bobby or whatever. But I'm selecting Mr. Satan just because he's more restricted to the ground, okay? Uh, I know that's kind of weird because he can also fly and stuff. But I'm just gonna show you an example, um, just to see how fast I can do this. Um, it'll it'll kind of vary. Just skip through this. You don't need to worry about that. So yeah, he's gonna jump right there. So. Uh, he's already kind of beating my ass right now, which is kind of funny. But yeah, again, don't don't get a ring out. So right there, he was stupid. <laughs> yeah, if they're weaker, they're usually kind of stupid. So he'll end up, you know, falling or, you know, whatever it may be. You can knock him out. So as you can see right there, I just got a Dragon Ball from Purunga. This will vary uh, depending on just the RNG. I think the drop rate for Purunga is a lot less than the drop rate for normal Shenron. So definitely do that. That's pretty good. That's just an example. Um, just keep doing these battles over and over and over, and you'll just get a random drop of either Shenron or the Purunga Balls. So again, when it comes to uh, either Shenron or Purunga, um, doing just regular battle mode will give you a chance, like a random drop rate of these Dragon Balls, as you saw what I was doing in that, you know, battle mode or whatever, getting, you know, those just like random fights in the World Tournament and all that. Um, you'll have a random chance, okay? Uh, for one of them, I got a random chance of getting one of Purunga's Dragon Balls, okay? Uh, right now, I have still, you know, the Shenron and the Super Shenron from my Ultimate Edition, but again, just doing that, doing battle mode over and over and over again will give you a chance. I believe Purunga's uh, Dragon Balls are a little bit less of a chance. I think the drop rate is less uh, compared to regular Shenron Dragon Balls. Um, I don't know the exact rate, but that's just kind of from what I've played from my experience and everything, okay? Now, when it comes to Super Shenron, there are a couple of methods, okay? The very first one, like I said, is the Ultimate Edition, so that's number one, okay? That's one set that you can get. Uh, number two would be completing Goku's story mode, okay? If you go to the episode battle and you actually go to this right here and you select it, just complete Goku's main story mode, his full thing. You actually get a full set of Dragon Balls, at least for the Super Dragon Balls, once you complete his main story, okay? Now, when it comes to summoning Super Shenron in terms of some other methods other than the Ultimate Edition doing the uh, Goku story mode. You can also do two other methods, which are also story mode related, and that would be Trunks' story mode, okay? Completing his regular episode battle story mode, his full thing, okay? And doing his what if. So those are two other ways of getting it. So, okay, you have the ultimate edition that you get right off the bat. Okay, you have Goku story mode and Trunks' what if story, okay? Those are all I know because it's kind of limited. Um, I don't actually know if this is the case or not, but I've heard that you could also get a drop rate of Super Shenron and just the Super Dragon Balls also from uh, regular just battle mode like you did for Purunga and Shenron. It's going to be like a random drop rate. I would assume if that is the case, it's way less than regular Shenron and Purunga. It's like super rare, but I think that is a possibility. So just keep playing regular battle modes against like a CPU. Just constantly grind and grind and grind and grind. And you'll eventually get that you know, pretty, pretty easily, or not easily, but like, you know what I mean? Like, you, if you just play enough, you won't even notice. Like, time will go by and, you know, you'll eventually get them, okay? So that's the situation on Dragon Balls, okay? Now let's talk about Zenny because there are a couple of methods of Zenny. Again, that's what you were doing the Dragon Balls for, okay? If you go to Summoning for Shenron, we'll go ahead and open this man up right here and go through the animation and everything. Um, I want to go over all the wishes that you can actually get. Um, there are several good wishes. I would focus on mainly Zenny, 
Okay, I know uh, some people might have already used the Wish Up and made the mistake of doing that, but in all honesty, these other ones kind of suck, okay? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, this one right here, you can also wish, uh, I think after doing some of Goku's story mode, this will complete an episode battle. Um, I'm not exactly sure uh, how much that it completes, if that's just like one full episode battle, which is kind of crazy or whatever, uh, but whatever. Um, yeah, Zenny. This is what you want, okay? Um, I believe you can get like a million Zenny. I'm not sure with normal Shenron. I haven't tested it yet. But you want to wish for this because getting the most amount of Zenny as possible, getting to max Zenny is, you know, what you need to do for this game if you want to be able to unlock stuff uh, as quick as possible. But you can also get certain outfits and things if you want. Um, again, those are another methods. Uh, titles and stuff if you want that. I wouldn't worry about those too much. Like I said, Zenny is the best wish. Uh, now, when it comes to Super Shenron, it is guaranteed from what I did see. Um, if you do at least the very first wish from what I tried, you can get like a million Zenny. Okay, uh, I did test this out on uh, a different version of the game that I was playing. And after you summon him and everything, go through the animation, he's going to do his little speaking. Uh, you can also unlock characters. Okay, so these are the way to unlock Fusamasu and Goku Black. I'm just including this in there just because this is the fastest way of getting these characters, which are very popular. And I know a lot of people are going to be asking for it. How do I get Goku Black? Or Fusion Zamasu, this is it right here, okay? This is what you would need to do. So uh, if you want Goku Black as quick as possible, just do the Shenron Wish. Uh, again, I would advise you not to actually do that, in my, in my opinion, okay? You can just, you know, go with what you want to do. But getting more Zenny is better, because again, you get like a million Zenny, and that means you can unlock like several other characters instead of just one character on here, okay? I think that's kind of dumb. You can also increase your player level, so that also helps as well. Super Shenron is like the man. He is that guy, right? Uh, again, you can get ability items, titles, etc., etc. Uh, if you want to get these outfits here, again, the outfits between Super Shenron and Normal Shenron are the same, at least for the very start of it, okay? Um, ability items, they have all these like Super Transformation, Water's Blessing, Miracle Master, Broly's Ring, Garden Master, Mirage, and all that stuff. And then with titles, uh, they give you a lot of different titles if these are anything that you really care about. Um, yeah, it, it, it is what it is, right? Uh, Shenron actually gives you titles as well, but it's like, I think like the very first, it's like, it's a way less than what you get from Super Shenron, okay? <laughs> this is Broly, and you are watching Slow Plays. Make sure to subscribe, or else I'll destroy your entire planet. <laughs>